Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at 13.5 areas under curves. 13.5 represents chapter 13, section 5 of the person A level mass pure mass year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Ladies and gents, we have a coordinate grid. We have the curve y equal f of x. We call this a positive curve because it's above the x-axis. Now the region R is bounded by the curve y equal f of x, the line x equal a, the line x equal b, and the positive x-axis. To work out the region R, we need to integrate from A to B the curve Y dx, where the lower limit is x equal A and the upper limit is x equal B. Y equal f of x is the equation of the curve. We know that the integral from A to B of kx to the power n dx is given by kx to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1, taking limit A to B, where A, B, K, and N are constants. These are the key facts of 13.5 areas under curves. I'll be implementing these key facts within two exam style questions. Let's have a look at exam style question one. The finite region R is bounded by the x-axis and the curve with equation y equal minus x squared plus 2x plus 3. Here is the diagram. The region R is bounded by the curve and the x-axis. Part A, find the coordinates of the points A and B. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So at A and B, y is equal to 0 because a and b are x-intercepts. This implies that minus x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. If I solve this quadratic equation, I get x equal 3 or x equal minus 1. Therefore, the coordinates for a would be minus 1, 0 and the coordinates for b would be 3, 0. This completes part A of exam style question 1. Let's have a look at part B. Find the area of the region R. So we're trying to work out the shaded area. By definition, area R is given by the integral from the lower limit, so the x-coordinate of A, which is minus 1, to the upper limit, so the x-coordinate of B, which is 3. Y dx. So we're integrating from minus 1 to 3, the y, which is minus x squared, plus 2x, plus 3, dx. I'm going to apply term by term integration. So I've got equal, open square bracket, minus x to the power 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1, plus 2x to the power 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1, plus, now 3 is a constant, so this integrates to 3x. Close square bracket, lower limit, minus 1, upper limit, 3. I'm going to simplify each coefficient. Let's start off with the first term. So over here, we've got a minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1. So that would be minus 1 over 3. x to the power 2 plus 1, which is 3. And let's simplify the next coefficient. So for the second term, we've got a positive 2 divided by 1 plus 1. So that's 2 divided by 2, which is 1. So I've got plus x to the power 1 plus 1, which is 2, plus 3x, close square bracket, minus 1, 2, 3. Right, so now I need to substitute the upper limit, replace the x's with 3. So minus 1 over 3 multiplied by 3 to the power 3, plus 3 to the power 2, plus 3 multiplied by 3. Take away. Substitute the lower limit, replace the x's with minus 1. So we've got minus 1 over 3 multiplied by minus 1 to the power 3 plus minus 1 squared plus 3 dots of minus 1, close square bracket, equal. So I'm going to start off by simplifying the first square bracket. So if I put this into my calculator, I get 9 minus, simplify the second square bracket. If I put this into my calculator, I get minus 5 over 3. Equal. So this over here is basically 9 plus 5 over 3. 9 plus 5 over 3 is equal to 32 over 3. So that shaded area R is 32 over 3 unit squared. This completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. The graph shows part of the curve C with equation y equal x squared multiplied by 2 minus x in brackets. The region R, shown shaded, is bounded by C and the x-axis. Have a look at this diagram. 
the region R is bounded by the curve C and the x-axis. Use calculus to find the exact area of R. Because we're looking at an area under a curve, the specific technique of calculus that we're going to use is integration. So how do we work out area R? Area R, by definition, is the integral from the lower limit, so the x-coordinate over here is 0, to the upper limit, the x-coordinate over here is 2. y dx. So we have the integral from 0 to 2. The y is basically x squared multiplied by 2 minus x in brackets dx. Right, we can't integrate this as of yet. We need to expand the brackets. So let's have a look at this. x squared multiplied by 2 minus x in brackets. Let's expand. We get 2x squared minus x cubed. Okay, so we have the integral from 0 to 2. The equivalent expression is 2x squared minus x cubed dx. We now can integrate term by term. Okay, so we've got open square bracket. Let's look at the first term. If we integrate this, we get 2x to the power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1. Second term, minus x to the power 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1. Close square bracket, lower limit 0, upper limit 2. We are going to simplify the coefficient of each term. Let's start off with the first term. So we've got 2 divided by 2 plus 1. Open square bracket, that will be 2 divided by 3. So we've got 2 over 3 x to the power 2 plus 1, which is 3. Now over here, we've got a minus 1, so we take minus 1, and we divide by 3 plus 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4, minus 1 divided by 4 is minus a quarter. x to the power 3 plus 1, which is 4. Lower limit 0, upper limit 2. Okay, so now I'm going to substitute the upper limit, replace the x's with 2, Take away, substitute the lower limit, replace the x's with a 0. Right, so the first square bracket simplifies to 4 over 3, minus the second bracket simplifies to 0. So the final answer is 4 over 3 unit squared. So 4 over 3 unit squared is the area R. This completes exam style your question 2 and this teaching video 13.5 areas under curves. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.